Welcome back once again to my channel. My name is Alex and today we are finally reacting at the sun coming from Ukraine to Eurovision 2022. The singer is called Alina Pash and the song Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. I have this feeling that it's going to be something like coming back to roots once again, very traditional song. Let's see what Alina Pash is giving us to Eurovision. So as you know, Ukraine is one of my favorite countries in Eurovision. The last year going absolutely deserved a uh, top five and I was rooting for them since the beginning, as you know. <laughs> I really like almost all the songs that they have sent since the first beginning of their Eurovision history back in 2003. I really enjoyed songs, for example, 2008. Salovey from Go Away. Yeah, so I'm very looking forward to see this. So let's win no longer and let's react to this. Let's go. Hitting play. Come on. Oh my god, I think that this is going to be just epic. Yes. Wow. This reminds me a lot, a lot of past Eurovision songs, but in a good way. You create being unique once again. I love this. I'm a girl from a small town. My folks are best described in weddings of Juma. One for all and all for one. Nowadays, time to go to free the divine tragedy. But we be Casus Dow is the divine strategy. And my child girls play with toy dolls, but I wrote these words here. I wasn't expecting this. This is very good. This is very, very good. Ukraine, you're just amazing in this contest, guys. The staging is amazing. How can you do this every year? My guy. Wow, this girl energy look just this smile in my face. So yeah, once again, Ukraine giving everything into this contest. This is what we need in Eurovision. Show your roots, 
show your history, show what is going on in your country, uh, show us where you come from. This can work very, 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 very well in Eurovision. Um, Alina Pasha has an amazing voice. I really enjoyed those sounds. It sounded just like a bird. Maybe you can explain this to me in the comments, please. She's giving us so many emotions in the song. Right now, in the top, we have first Italy with Brividi. Second, we have Chanel and her slow-mo for Spain. And in third, we have Lights Off from Dummy and Czech Republic. So, yes, I think that I'm going to put Ukraine in the second place. Yeah. Because I really like this. I really like when countries are risky and Ukraine is always risky in Eurovision and yeah, this deserves a good place. So right now we have still in the first, we have in the first place Italy and second we have Ukraine and closing the top three, Spain. I, I would put uh, Czech Republic to in the third place, but mm, let's not make changes for now. So anyway guys, what do you think about the Ukrainian song for Eurovision? Put me everything into the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. I really appreciate it. I normally don't say this, but thank you very much for all the support that you're giving me the, for this whole year now. Um, yeah, I really like you guys a lot and thank you for staying. I hope to see you in the next videos. And as you guys know already, please take care, be safe and bye.